Nipsey Hustle, Dr. Sabi. Um, you was telling me earlier that Nipsey's putting together um a documentary on the controversial Dr. Sabi. Well, shout out to the people that check us out on on Twitter and all our social media platforms. One of our loyal listeners asked us to just give our insight on the Dr. Sabi or the Nipsey Hustle documentary in regards to Dr. Sabi. Now, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Sabi is, born Alfredo Bowman in November 26, 1993 in a village in Spanish Honduras. Sabi came to the United States as a self-educated man who was diagnosed with asthma, diabetes, impotency, and obesity after an unsuccessful treatments with conventional doctors. Sabi was led to an herbalist in Mexico, finding great healing success for all his ailments. He began creating natural vegetation cell compounds geared for intercellular cleansing and revitalization of all cells that make up the human body. Now, we all know the how he passed away very controversial fashion we see a lot of documentaries coming out now and a lot of information coming out now basically denouncing all of the work that he's done mm -hmm. saying that he was a fraud i mean we all hear the words now mm -hmm. you have a lot of people that really are are enlightened by what he by what he says i'm one of the people that listen not listen excuse me but watching a lot of different things because i'm vegan obviously so i look at a lot of different aspects i, right. I appreciate a lot of his speeches and a lot of his his teaching for sure got a lot of people that don't say it's bullshit say it's very dangerous what he's doing so for nipsey hustle as we all know hell of an album last year hell of an artist independent artist putting his money into certain things he's backing a documentary i think it's very interesting i can't wait to see it mm -hmm. what's your thoughts on that yeah man you know again i know a lot you know i'm not a lot but a little you know about the court case and some of the um you know different things now first i will say you know you have a lot you do have some charlatans out there that um you know put potions in bottles mm. fake potions sell or snake oil oilsmen just like in any industry you have but you do have some people that i think you know um as we know certain herbs and things can cure you know certain things the problem i think comes in is getting the fda approval on a lot of things you know if you can actually prove if these people can actually prove that these products work in a lot of um, instances i think dr sabi you know situation it came down in court um I don't want to misquote it, but um, that he wasn't able to prove every single aspect, you know, but um, I do encourage people to, um, you know, uh, watch the documentary because on the other hand, you have a lot of people, hundreds, even thousands of people that swear by and claim that his products, you know what I mean, absolutely healed them and absolutely work in the same breath. You know what I mean? So I'm um, very interested. You know, I definitely want to see um, that. But we do know for a fact that, um, you know, I mean, being a vegan and stuff, that fruits, vegetables and different herbs can cure certain things and um, heal you. A hundred percent. And that's what I wanted to go along the lines of. I've never bought a product. I've never tried any of his personal products, but mm -hmm. I know a lot of his teachings when it comes to alkaline dieting, putting the proper nutrition in your body, the, the dangers of mucus and what causes mucus and a lot of the things that we customarily put in our bodies that cause mucus and learning about how your food digests and how long that takes. Those conversations are very important. He's a very, he's genius when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. And we all need that kind of conversation. What I think happens out here is because you got a lot of people that, that just like you said, they bring up the mumbo jumbo and they try to sell people on this dream. And I don't want to say try to find a lazy way to health, mm -hmm. but they try to give them that fast track, lazy way to health that people run to it so quick. Because it's, mm -hmm. as a po it's, it's way easier to go drink a fucking potion than not work out right. Yeah. Not properly put food and in, in nutri uh, put nutrition into your body, learn about the body and things like that. Get rid of some of the bullshit that you don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. It's easier just to drink this potion. And you got a lot of people that prey on people's laziness and just prey on people like that, which give people that po possibly like Dr. Sabi a very bad name. Because, like I said, he's a very educated man. Listen to what he talks about, about the body and things that need to go in and stay out. It's very informational. What do you think about important. the way that he died? Because there's a lot of um, speculation. Some people say that he may have been killed. You know, there's something, I think the official, he died from like pneumonia, something like that. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of criticisms, you know, um, on, on this fella. You know, what I mean, a lot of some people will say, well, you know, um, and I've heard this, you know, the numerous people, you know, just watching certain videos like he was he was, you know, this this natural path doctor or whatever, had all these different herbs and all that. But, you know, he died from pneumonia. A lot of people, that's one of the big criticisms, you know, I know mm -hmm. of him. How come he wasn't able to stop himself, you know, save himself from that? You know what I mean? Well, we can't be ignorant to the fact that they or they or whoever. Right. It may be some fishy shit to that. Now, we yeah, all know yeah, um, my man, Bob Marley, how he died. 
he died of an ailment. I, what, what did he die from? Maybe pneumonia or I, I don't want to misquote I forgot. that. I actually but forgot. there's some people saying out there in the CIA that he got hit with a needle and they gave him a sickness mm -hmm. and he went down from there. And we just know this happens. And Dr. Sabi was on the track of they were saying that he was curing this and curing that. And like I said, I never bought into any of his products, but I know certain fruits. I know a lot of vegetables. I know certain herbs mm -hmm. in, in the right combination mixed with taking out all the other shit will definitely recharge and recirculate your body and get rid of shit. It's a fact. Right. And they, right. hey, and we all know the, how, how profitable the drug and food administration is the FDA and yeah. how they administer the right things and how flu season comes right on time. And motherfuckers are running to grab all it the medicine. It definitely wouldn't be in their interest to um, have a cure. We could say that they, they will make way more money off the treatment, the pills, you know, the, the radio, all that. And they make way more money off that. That's just looking at it on, in a simple business sense. Right. So, it, you know, if they, if they, Dr. Sabi wasn't 100% legitimate, it would make sense. You know what I mean? And this is what I'm, I'm hoping we see in the Nipsey Hussle documentary. I hope he kind of touches on all these topics. Get get talk about the great, talk about the naysayers, talk about how he died. I'm right. thinking that he'll do some justice. I don't know when this is set to come out, but shout out to the person that uh, dropped that on the Twitter and, and wanted us to talk about it because it was a great topic. Can't wait to look at more and see more. Definitely, definitely, man. But yeah, you may you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother Old God and Sam Man. Another episode in the books, episode number 118. We'll be doing episode 119 in a couple more days on Thursday. Actually, that'll be our live show at 7 p.m. Man, we're giving y'all one more day, one more treat, you know, to have us, you know what I mean, live. Also, make sure that y'all go follow us on our social media sites and everything. Those descriptions are right down in the, um, that, you know, is in the description box, excuse me, right below where you see us speaking at right now, definitely. Indeed, man. We got another one in the books, a Tuesday edition of the Unset the Truth yep. podcast, man. Can't wait, like Oga said, to come on you live Thursday evening. We're going to rock out with the people there. Who knows what the hell we're going to talk about, but we're going to have a good time, yeah, yeah. as always. Make sure you subscribe to our iTunes, Spotify, yeah. and Google Play, the audio version of the Unset the Truth podcast. We're definitely going to start dropping treats and gems over there that you will not see on YouTube. So make sure you check us out. Those numbers are very, very important. Yeah. We appreciate all y'all support, man. That's all I got. Sam, man, viral hip hop yes, news. Oh, God, hip hop news uncensored. We are the Unset the Truth podcast. Yeah. See you Thursday, man. Peace. Peace.